Let's talk about the hottest thing in the weight loss world right now. Your Ozempic, your Manjaro and Wagavi and all these semi-glutide injections that are making people lose crazy weight. So what we're going to talk about in this video is how these medications actually work, what it's actually doing to your body, and whether or not it is safe for you to take long term. If you are new to this, I'm Ashley Drummond. I have been in the fitness and nutrition industry for over 15 years. I have started supplement products. I have been a strength and conditioning coach. I've worked in functional fitness, holistic nutrition. I have done it all. So what I'm giving you today is information that's backed by science, but also from an integrative functional approach of what these medications really do and what I would say is the truth behind them. So let's just talk about what these actually do so you can have a better understanding of what's happening in your body. So all of these medications affect something that's called your GLP-1 receptors. What these are, are these are receptors that are a part of your brain that control your appetite and increases feelings of fullness and satisfaction that makes you stop eating food. This is a process that happens naturally when you do eat a large meal or something that's whole foods that has a lot of complex carbs, lean proteins, and healthy fats. So the receptors in your brain that signal, hey, I'm satisfied, I'm full, I don't need any more. So these drugs are basically taking over that natural process so that you are already being signaled to your brain that you've had enough food and you're satisfied, even though you haven't actually consumed food. So that's one of the ways it works. The other thing it does is it slows down gastric in emptying. So all this means is it's the speed at which the food you consume goes from your stomach to the intestines. Slowing it down keeps you fuller longer and makes you eat less food. Again, this happens when you slow down your eating and also happens when you consume whole foods, but this weight loss drug or these weight loss drugs are doing it for you. Um, the other thing that it does as well is it also not slows down, but it reduces the amount of glucose produced by the liver and enhances your sensitivity to insulin. So here's kind of the things of how this has worked. So basically it's taking over the receptors in your brain that control appetite. Um, it helps with controlling blood glucose. So your blood sugar levels so that you aren't really hungry, but you have sustained energy. Um, it also works to slow down the process by which food is coming out of your stomach and into your intestines so that you're staying fuller longer. Now, people are having serious results from doing this for all the reasons that I just mentioned. Because you're not hungry, you have no appetite, so therefore you are eating less food. There are serious side effects when you take this though. Number one, this drug was made for type two diabetes. People who have serious issues with producing insulin out of the pancreas and need some extra help with some sort of medication because parts of their body are not functioning properly. The problem is people who don't have type two diabetes or any diabetic issue are taking this and it's basically acting as a band-aid for something that's going on deeper. So taking this medication that just shuts off your brain doesn't fix the actual problem that there is a reason why you are not losing weight. Now, assuming you've already tried exercise, eating proper nutrition, and cleaning up so that you're sticking with organic whole foods, assuming you're doing that, say you're like, I've done everything I can, I've exercised, I've had a fitness coach, personal trainer, I've done macro counting, calorie counting, and I'm still not losing weight. If you feel like going to one of these weight loss drugs is the answer, you're doing yourself a disservice because if you are still having problems, it means there is something that is a root cause that is the underlying reason of why you're not losing weight. A couple things that could be, if you have chronic inflammation, inflammation will make it very hard for somebody to lose weight. So you would have to treat the chronic inflammation. Number two, hormonal imbalances. 
If you have a hormonal imbalance that causes you to hold on to excess body fat, you don't want to just take a drug that keeps you from eating because the second you get off the drug, that hormonal imbalance still exists and all that's just going to come back. Another problem a lot of people have could simply be some sort of metabolic issue. You want to figure out why there's the metabolic issue and then correct that metabolic issue. There are other things that are going on aside from exercise and nutrition that would cause you to have issues with weight. So when you take these drugs and people are getting quick results, there's so many things you have to worry about. So a couple of the biggest side effects people are having when they start taking these medications are things like stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, but then even others are having more extreme side effects, which is what people aren't talking about, like problems with their vision, gallbladder issues, pancreatitis, kidney failure, and even in some cases, cancer. Why? You have to think about what is happening. Your body needs food. Just because you turn off a signal in the brain receptor, that GLP-1 we talked about, does not mean your body doesn't still need food. So when you do that, some of the issues people are having is when they go to return back to normal eating patterns, their stomach isn't able to digest the food properly because it has been so interrupted with drugs that are not only causing issues with the gastric emptying, but also with your receptor, that when you get off it, your brain receptors are no longer going to respond the same way to food. And more than likely, you're going to end up putting all that weight right back on. So the other issue too, and I actually know somebody that this just happened to recently, when you consume this, okay, so I've done talks about how when you skip meals and you fast, the first thing your body does is it goes catabolic. Catabolic means that it will go to any lean muscle mass you have because your muscle is rich in protein and glucose, so that stored glycogen as a fuel source. So when you skip meals, aside from Ozimbic and all these weight loss drugs, your body becomes catabolic. It goes to the most nutrient dense source in your body to get the nutrients that it needs. One of the biggest issues a lot of people are having is they aren't eating enough to fuel their body. They're losing all this weight and their body is then going to their muscle tissue and people are losing mus muscle tissue like crazy because the body still needs all those nutrients in order to survive. So most of the people that are having serious weight loss from all of this, if you look at the physique and the body composition, most of them are just very skinny, very flat with not a ton of lean muscle. And it's because it's very hard to keep that muscle when you are starving your body of the nutrients that it needs, which then further creates another problem that's not being talked about is once you start to lose a ton of muscle and your body no longer has muscle that's protecting your bones, your bone, your bone marrow is full of nutrients too. People are having issues with body and bone pains because they have been taking these drugs and there's no longer any muscle tissue left for these drugs to go to that they end in they end up in the hospital they end up in the er or like i mentioned some of the other stuff they end up with things like pancreatitis gallbladder issues kidney failure because the body is not getting what it needs so i'm not saying all this to scare anybody i'm saying all this because i feel like in the world of social media Everybody's seeing these crazy weight loss results and it blows my mind that doctors are prescribing this. But again, that's big pharma. All they see is the dollar sign and the amount of money they can make. They don't actually care about the long-term side effects that this does to you. That these are the things people aren't talking about. That people are getting off this drug and then they no longer can digest food because the GLP-1 receptors have been turned off for so long from this medication that now their appetite is totally off. The stomach's not emptying correctly because this medicine has changed the way the body does gastric emptying. They're losing muscle mass like crazy and having in issues with bone density. There's all kinds of stuff that goes into this. So what is the best approach then? What do you do if you're having issues losing weight and you see everybody getting these results with all these weight loss drugs? Number one, 
Obviously, you first need to know what your nutritional needs are based on your activity level, based on your goals, and based on your body type. I did a whole video on this that is in the description below that you can take a look at, and I give you the exact science behind it. That's the first thing. Number two, you need to be working out four to five days a week for around 30, 45, 60 minutes, combining strength training, actually lifting weights because weights are going to boost your overall resting metabolic weight, but also that lean muscle is going to replace fat. So you need to be working out regularly, exercising, resistance training specifically. Number three, you need to check to see if you have any nutrient deficiencies. A lot of time, our metabolisms or essential bodily functions can get completely thrown off when we are deficient in key nutrients the body needs. And this can be your vitamin Bs. It can be your minerals, your magnesium, your zinc, your chromium, all are responsible for helping with energy production and inflammation. If you do that and you are still having issues then you need to do some functional testing to find out what your hormone levels look like. Do you have an, a hormonal imbalance that is causing you to hold on to extra body weight? There's a lot of hormonal imbalances that can be going on. It can be thyroid issues. It can be things like estrogen dominance in both men and women. It can simply be things like that. Maybe you are under a lot of stress and your cortisol is way out of whack. Cortisol is going to cause you to, to store extra belly fat. You test all these things you work with somebody who understands the body from a functional perspective as a holistic view. And then slowly over time, you make these lifestyle changes so that you are changing the root cause of why you couldn't lose weight to begin with, but you're also improving your health in the long term while transforming your physique. With these drugs, this is a very short term dangerous thing just for the sake of losing weight when as soon as you come off of it more than likely all that weight's going to come back on you're going to have very low lean muscle which is going to be a problem especially for women with bone density your metabolism is going to be off more you're going to have a really hard time with your pancreas your stomach and your appetite control receptors so I wanted to do this video to give a very honest understanding of what all these weight loss drugs are doing, because I feel like social media is just showing this pretty image, but not telling the truth. And people aren't posting about the side effects. People aren't posting about how after they do these drugs, they're nauseous, they have diarrhea, they have headaches, they're not eating, then they're in the ER because they're having so much pain in their body because now the body's gone catabolic then is having to go to like the bone marrow. So instead of trying to do a shortcut or a quick fix, work with a functional practitioner or work with a coach or work with a trainer and figure out what is the underlying reason that you're not getting the results that you want and then come up with a plan. And over time, like I said, not only is your physique gonna change, but your overall health, your immunity, the process of aging is going to slow down. You're going to sleep better. You're going to have a better mood. Your brain is going to function better. Where this is simply something that is so unregulated and so short term that it's going to end up causing more harm than good. So if you know somebody that's taken one of these weight loss drugs, I highly encourage you to share this video with them and share all the science and the information behind it so that they know what's going on, that maybe their doctor's not telling them, or maybe they're just not really understanding what the long-term effects of this are. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe as I am constantly coming out with videos like this to keep you educated and updated on the latest functional fitness, holistic nutrition, and integrative health. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in some of the other videos. Bye.